With the 2022 Beijing Olympics soon coming to a close, Team China is celebrating its highest winter medal tally ever. It was the second time the Chinese capital hosted an Olympic event, but gone was the festive atmosphere of the 2008 Summer Games. It's very different now, so the novelty to a certain extent has worn off. It's a Winter Games, which by its nature is a smaller event. It's winter, so, so pe people uh, you know, aren't outdoors as much. And then, of course, we've had COVID. Um, so all of those things point to a more muted atmosphere. Here, helpers in protective suits and morning COVID-19 tests were a part of daily life. Olympic dreams ended abruptly for those who tested positive for the virus. It seems pretty unreal that of all the people, uh, what happened to myself. I have been doing everything in my power to stay free of COVID since the start of the pandemic. For some, strict quarantine measures were too much to bear. Many complained about heavy-handed controls. I am, we are not even sure I will ever be allowed to return to the village. And obviously this is very hard for me. Top competitors weren't the only ones in the spotlight. Chinese tennis player Peng Shuai appeared in the stands with International Olympic Committee head Thomas Bach after giving an interview denying she made sexual assault allegations against a retired politician. Rights groups criticized the decision to use a Uyghur athlete to light the torch at the opening ceremony. And the featuring of a soldier who fought on China's border with India incensed New Delhi. More anger was sparked after 15-year-old Russian figure skater Kamila Valieva was allowed to compete after testing positive for a banned substance. We'll do everything to investigate this, this case properly and the, the doping of, of children is evil and unforgivable. This Olympics, the IOC fielded difficult questions about China's human rights record. Previous games held in Russia's Sochi and Brazil's Rio de Janeiro raised similar questions. From here, the Summer and Winter Olympics will return to the Western world, held consecutively in Paris, Milan and Los Angeles, venues less likely to attract protest. The organizers of the Beijing Olympics hope the legacy of the event will be felt in a burgeoning winter sports industry and confidence that the city can pull off a successful Games despite a global pandemic. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.